let us uh, discuss some questions on OC and SC test. Okay. After this discussion, you will understand better about OC and SC test. Now, in this, our transformer data is given as 1000 VA 230 by 115 volts. OC test data is given and SC test data is also given. We have to find out equivalent circuit parameters referred to LV side. Okay. Now, my rated capacity of the machine is this is also important why we will see and the rated voltages of this is this and OC test and SC test data is given now means about OC test as I told in the OC test also OC test discussion compulsorily the test has to be conducted at rated voltage and rated frequency so OC test like you know frankly speaking we need not cross check whether they conducted at uh, rated voltage or not but anyway let me see here OC test is conducted at 115 volts means that the test is conducted on the LV side okay now we can say that OC test is on LV side okay now in this like you know we got voltage and we got uh, meter reading and we got watt meter reading now as we discussed previously let me think of shunt branch in this current flowing through here is going to be IW current flowing through here is going to be I mu current flowing through here is going to be I naught and this is going to be V1 and what matter input is going to be W naught okay and we have drawn phasor diagram also in phasor diagram this is going to be operating flux okay now this is going to be minus E1 equal to V1 don't focus on minus and plus okay already we discussed now this is my no load current I0 and the angle between here and here is theta naught okay now what is this like you know reflected current in line with pi naught is going to be i mu and reflected current here in line with v1 is going to be iw okay now what we have to find i mu and iw has to be found such that v1 divided by iw is going to be r naught and v1 divided by i mu is going to be x naught okay now let us complete this see v1 i naught cos theta naught is going to be w naught okay voltmeter v1 i naught cos of the angle between that two is going to be wattmeter reading under that condition cos theta naught equal to w naught is given 3.9 divided by v1 given is 115 volts into 0.11 okay so some cos theta naught you are going to get from that let me calculate sin theta naught okay so once cos theta naught and sin theta naught is found let me calculate iw iw equal to iw equal to i naught theta naught i naught cos theta naught what is i naught 0.11 into cos theta naught calculated value okay now i mu is going to be i naught sin theta naught is going to be 0 0.11 into sin theta naught sin theta naught cos theta naught already we calculated now what is r naught r naught is going to be v1 by iw okay so v1 is going to be how much 115 volts divided by iw okay such that you are going to get r naught value of 3.39 kilo ohm okay now let me calculate x naught same v1 divided by i mu so v1 is going to be how much 115 divided by i mu calculated i mu here will give you 1.1 k okay now let me tell you one thing okay in this for example in this r naught and x naught which parameter value will be more we have to find because like you know if r naught is more and x naught is less because voltage is same no? they, they are connected in parallel if x naught is less i mu will be more if r naught is more iw will be less okay in this phasor diagram also if you see in the same scaling factor only i have drawn i mu is more iw is less last component should be less 
and magnetizing component of current obviously will be more because the purpose of I naught is to magnetize the magnetic material magnetize the magnetic material in the sense I mu component should be more now here also if you see in the conclusions like you know R naught is going to be more X naught is going to be less okay so X naught is less means that current flowing through X naught which is nothing I mu should be more so our answer can be right now next thing is let us analyze SC test okay so for SC test data is given okay 17.1 volt 8.7 ampere 38.1 watt now we should be able to find on which side they conducted the test okay so in order to know which side they conducted the test let me calculate full load current under HV side maybe they might conduct the test on HV side so 17.1 sorry 1000 VA in the sense 1000 divided by 230 volts full load current so that full load current is going to be 4.35 amperes now SC test can be conducted maximum at rated current not beyond rated current okay so for example in this case SC test is conducted at 8.7 amperes means that definitely they wouldn't have conducted that test on HV side because HV side current is rated current is 4.35 only so if rated current is 4.35 8.7 amperes current cannot flow so means let me calculate full load current under LV side is nothing but 1000 divided by 115 is going to be 8.7 amperes okay what does it mean actually SC test is conducted under LV side okay SC test is conducted under LV side because means this SC test is being conducted at rated current conditions again uh, let me remember like you know let me recollect SC test can be conducted at, at any current value we need not specifically conduct at rated but in this particular uh, uh, example they are conducting at rated now what is SC test equivalent circuit this is going to be RE XE everything is going to be LV side okay now this particular voltmeter reading is 17.1 volt and current flowing is 8.7 amperes and wattmeter reading is 38.1 watt okay now in this V by I will give you ZE I square R will give you WSC so 38.1 watt meter input power should be consumed in the name of resistance only equal to 8.7 square I square into RE LV side okay so you can calculate RE as 38.1 divided by 8.7 square okay that RE, RE value is going to be where is this 0.503 okay now let me calculate ZE V by I will give you ZE so ZE equal to 17.1 by 8.7 okay now let me calculate XE value is going to be under root of ZE square minus RE square under root for which XE you are going to get 1.9 ohm okay here also you have to conclude one thing that resistance value is less reactance value is more almost four times more okay so x by r ratio we say equivalent reactance value leakage reactance value and resistance value means this divided by this we call it as x by r ratio okay in a practical transformer x by r ratio vary between two to six okay so means obviously x value should be more compared to resistance value like you know by two to six times more so this is the way we have to solve the problem both are conducted on railway side only so both the values of r naught x naught and series branch parameters are, are are from lv side only now let us see one more problem okay in this problem a 50 head single phase transformer draws short circuit current of 30 amperes at 0.25 power factor when connected to 16 volts 50 head source what will be the power factor if it is energized from 16 volts 75 head source okay so this is going to be SC test okay SC test equivalent circuit in SC test equivalent circuit this is going to be 16 volts 
and the current is 30 amperes at 0.25 power factor okay now two things we have to observe here okay those are like you know the, this is going to be 50 h 50 h now in the second case he want to conduct the test at 75 h so can i vary the frequency from 50 h to 75 h in conducting sc test yes because sc test in the sense you are going to get linear parameter series branch parameters so you can conduct like you know at any current level with any frequency because they are linear no any point uh, independent of the operating point values will be same now second point is because immediately after this i'm going to take up a problem which was given in gate uh, 2008 i think by iit kanpur like you know frankly speaking they have done a mistake okay at that time i will tell you just next question only is going to be that first focus on this keep an eye here okay power factor is 0.25 power factor so sc test condition power factor is going to be 0.25 lag because obviously lag only because inductive dominated so keep it in mind 0.25 pf lag i will tell you about that in the next question now in the second case he want to conduct the same sc test with same 16 volts but 75 head now he is asking current or power factor just like you know sc test linear branch parameters apply network theory enough okay so we need not bother about machine analysis here just apply network theory okay for example this is going to be re1 xc1 first case maybe this is going to be re2 second case second case it is not primary and secondary here it is first case and it is second case keep it in mind okay now let me calculate this ZE value so how much is ZE value is going to be 16 by 30 V by I that's it okay V by I you can calculate at an angle at an angle of 0.25 power factor so cos inverse of 0.25 okay now you will get the form of re1 plus jxc1 okay what is that re1 and jxc1 we will calculate okay and after that in the second case if i vary the frequency from 50h to 75h resistance value will not change because it is independent of frequency so re2 is going to be re1 only plus now if you think of xc1 inductive reactance inductive reactance is directly proportional to r equal to omega l directly proportional frequency if frequency is increased the inductive reactance should be increased now frequency increased to 75 h from 50 h so it should be increased 75 by 50 into x e 1 okay so i got z e 1 network theory so 16 divided by z e 1 is going to be the isc in the second case okay so isc in the second case equal to 16 divided by ze2 okay you are going to uh, calculate magnitude and power factor because ZU is going to be imaginary so means isc one thing i have to tell you here from here to here magnitude of current here is given as 30 amps it should be reduced or increased it should be reduced okay because voltage is same but frequency is increased it means that reactance is going to be increased it means that impedance magnitude is going to be increased for a given voltage magnitude of impedance is more in this current should be less one thing and like you know let us see power factor okay if you see power factor or x by r ratio inductive reactance is increased and resistance is going to remain same means that inductive reactance is increased increased means that power factor should be reduced so upcoming like you know answer should be less than this should be less than this okay so let us see isc2 we calculated it has 20.4 amperes at power factor of 0.17 lag okay so in that way we have to calculate and uh, we have one more problem to calculate